What's up my friends? My name is Eric's. Today I'm going to be reviewing a card that I actually really misjudged when I first saw it in the spoiler. I was really not excited for it. Today's card is the Gitrog Monster. Three black green gets you a legendary frog horror. It's a 6-6 six, six with depth touch. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice the Gitrog Monster unless you sacrifice a land. You may play an additional land on each of your turns and whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. I looked at this and I kind of dismissed it right away just by reading half the text because 5 for 6-6 six, six Death Touch, great. Now it's eating your lands, not great. Mm, and I kind of dismissed it there. Uh, I did read over it, but it never really made an impact to me until I was reading through all the, the mythics and rares that I haven't looked at too closely yet. And I, I really don't know why I misjudge this so harshly to begin with. Yes, it eats your lands, but you get a draw off of it. Kind of already makes up for it itself. On top of that, you can play two lands. Minimum two lands per turn with this thing in play. Maybe, you know, if you pair it with like Mina and Den, you get to play three lands a turn. That's going to be ridiculous. But not what we're talking about. We're not talking about Mina and Den. We're talking about the Geetrog Monster. And I really feel like it's great card. Looking at it, the Death Touch on a 6 6, kind of, you know, ridiculous, but, you know, whatever. There are bigger things in Standard and Modern that are really running wild. You know, and also EDH, you can throw it in there too. Lots of big things. So the Death Touch is relevant to all those pesky Eldrazi. Kozilek, Ulamog, you bastards. But that's just on the surface. What I really want to look at is the when a land... Whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. In green and black... I seriously feel like that's going to be some kind of an engine. If you can abuse going and playing more lands, I know it's super difficult, but it could probably be done. With Azusa, maybe, I, I think that'd be a great pair uh, for casual and modern. I don't, I don't know if it would really go into a modern deck because it's kind of big and it doesn't really win the game for five mana. Um, it... Yeah, it's it's kind of a tough one for me. I do like it though. I, I I definitely want to get that point across because in in the beginning when it was first spoiled, I really didn't look at it and go, "Hey, that's pretty cool." I looked at it and went, uh, "But it destroys your lands." Ugh, never mind, forget it. And you know, I I feel like I harshly criticized it way too quick. So the Gitrog Monster, having changed my opinion of all of it, I'm gonna say for draft, I'm gonna give it a. Four because it's five for a six six death touch and in draft you want to draw cards if you get lands eh, no big deal you know you throw them down every draft deck has extra lands right well most decks anyway i think most draft decks do um for the uh standard i'm gonna have to go a 3.5 i'm not so sure about that one it is big but I think it would really benefit more instead of having Death Touch if it had Trample. But ugh, it's hard to say. I, I couldn't really tell you till we see some play. Um, I, I I don't know because, yes, it's like it can... It, okay, let me, let me put it this way. I'm having a hard time explaining what I'm thinking. Well, I'll put it this way. I think that if you can't find a way to abuse the lands going into the graveyard and drawing cards off that, you're really missing out on something and you'd rather play a different creature that's not eating your lands. If you can, at the very minimum, get another card in your deck, or maybe another set of cards in your deck, to make it so that you can really benefit from the draw trigger, where you're eating just a few more lands then I could see it being a lot more of a staple. But I really don't think this is something you're going to play a lot of. In standard, two, maybe three. But eh, it's, not, it's not super great. I do like it, but it's not great. Modern, I'm going to have to say a 2.5. It's big. You could probably abuse it with Azusa, like I said. But I don't know. I don't see it. Abusing land drops every turn... Real tough because there's always going to be a limit. And you can only bump that limit up a little bit here and there. You can't make it permanently go up way up there. It's tough. Uh, standard, not standard. EDH, a 3.5. Big monster. Playing with the grave. Love it. Lands go to graveyard. Drawing cards. 
You need to draw cards in a 100-card singleton environment. Yeah, drawing cards is great. I'm definitely going to look to get at least one or two of these for my uh, Marin and Carador. Definitely looking forward to playing that. So that's where I'm going to stop because this one's running long. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.